Hey guys, I wanted to drop in and give you a quick video. I wanted to talk about believing in yourself, even when those around you don't. Okay, guys, so yeah, I wanted to talk about this because this is a very sensitive uh, situation, you know, and not just a situation, just to, just anybody to go through when you are doing something and working hard and others don't seem to believe in your vision or dreams that you see for yourself. And I'm here to tell you, it honestly doesn't matter whether they believe in your dreams or not. It's, you know, as I've been going through the same motions this um, past few weeks has been a big shift for me. I've been really reassessing a lot of things within my life and just trying to uh, think more positively and also put in the action to get the outcome that I want. So basically, I wanted to talk about this because this is something that, you know, I feel everyone goes to at one point, you know, where they feel like they're not supported or they feel like they don't have, you know, uh, enough, you know, connections or people just don't support your dream or you know if you have a business they don't support your business or family don't support your business or they don't believe in you or whatever it is you may be trying to do or to overcome they just don't believe in you and that could be really downing you know what I'm saying it could be the most really hurtful feeling you even probably cry about it sometimes I know I have I've cried about you know not getting support or even thinking I'm not getting support where I you know um in different endeavors that I choose to want to go into but you know as I've learned and, and, and really try to work through this emotion and this this feeling of not, you know, having support, I came to the realization that it don't matter. It doesn't matter if people support you or not. What really matters is you see your vision, that you stay true to your vision and the things that you see for yourself. It doesn't matter if anyone else outside of your outside of you isn't supporting you. Sometimes we put on we sometimes would put a little expectation on people that these expectations naturally people won't be able to meet because everyone is different and everyone does things differently and not everyone is good people that's not going to do what you want them to do unless they want to do it you know what i'm saying so you can't really be upset with people the only thing that you can do is you know love them you know what i'm saying show them compassion especially when people are trying to knock you down from the type of goals that you see for yourself, even if people don't see it for you. People will project their own fears onto you. People will project what they don't see for themselves onto you. They'll say, oh, that you can't do it. Or no, that, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, so people will always project onto you what they don't see for themselves. As long as you see it for yourself, that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, it's only our responsibility. As long as you see it for yourself, that's all that you need. Because you do not need any external outside source but yourself to make your dreams come true. You understand? If you believe it, it will be achieved. If you work at it, it will come to pass. You understand? And I want to go, I don't want to get too preachy because it's not, it's not something to really preach about because I'm going through the same situations where, you know, I feel like people don't support what I'm doing or, you know, family may not agree with what I'm doing. And that's okay. People are not always going to agree with what you do or agree on how you live your life. And that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's fine. But at the end of the day, it's really about what you think about what you're going to do with your life, what you choose which direction you choose to go into. That's the only thing that matters. You understand? And we, you know, I feel like we be so, we are so hard on ourselves, you know? Sometimes we feel like we need external sources to kind of let us know or even make us feel like we're great or that we are doing something good. But in all actuality, all we need is ourselves. We could be our, our self-coach. We can be our self-motivator. We can be our biggest cheerleader. We don't need outside sources to tell you these things that you know are true within yourself. We look for outside external uh, sources to kind of help us feel fulfilled. When in in all actuality, we only need ourselves to keep ourselves motivated. If you got you, 
You don't need nothing else. Not saying we don't need connections. We don't need, we do need these things. But at the same time, you have to have a sense of self and self-love and take care of yourself. Just because others don't believe in you. Just because others don't, they don't have to. As long as you see it, as long as you have that tunnel vision, that's all that matters. Keep your eyes on the prize. I love Issa Nichols. She said something. She said a quote. The quote that she said is, winners never quit and quitters never win. Whew. That's a powerful statement because she said that her grandmother gave it to her, but that was a statement that she said that stuck with me because there's times where I felt like I wanted to give up. There are times that I felt like, you know, I'm not good enough. There were times where I did so much self-sabotage, I never got anything done. <laughs> but you know what? When you sit and you, you know what I, I do to meditation. Meditation really helps me to ground myself. It helps me get the answers that I need at the time when I need it so that I can move forward. And meditation helps you clear your mind. It helps you to quiet yourself and concentrate on the breath. The inhale and the exhale. It helps you to stop that chatter, that busy chatter in your mind, that self-sabotage talk. It even helps you just, just to, if you start to just count your breath, that will start to quiet down. The more you feel relaxed, the more the mind quiets with the breath. And I started to realize that with meditation. Meditation helped me to quiet my mind, center myself, and just gain that balance that I needed to get on my feet. Sometimes, you know, spirit will, no, I know sometimes spirit does speak to us through meditation. Sometimes also people get the best ideas when they quiet their mind and keep their hearts as still as water. Well, clear as water. <laughs> but uh, your mind and your heart still. And I'm telling you, so many messages will come. And so much, you know, just self-confidence you can build off of that by just getting to know your inner self. Um, If you don't meditate, I recommend it. Because it helps you connect to your, yourself. You know, to, to, to connect to your inner wisdom and inner compass. So... With that, I, I started to do that. I started to implement meditation as well as I had to be my own life coach, my own, you know, cheerleader. You know what I'm saying? I had to ring my own bell when someone else is not patting me on the back. You understand? You're responsible for that. We, we're we responsible for our, what we, what we say to ourselves. You know, what are we, what are we saying in our minds? You know, if you if you feel like you're not getting the support, well, what are you saying to yourself? How you expect to get support from outside sources and you ain't working on what you say to yourself. If you don't believe in you, how others are going to. You understand? So you need to also think about that, which is something I had to think about. Okay, I had to change well, how I talk to myself. How I, you know, I got to be my own cheerleader. I got to be gentle with myself. You understand? No one else is going to do this for me. No one else is going to be gentle with myself the way I can be gentle with myself. No one else is going to know what I need. Like, you know, like I know what I need. You understand? So... Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the people that don't support you. Because at the end of the day, when you finally bring your dream into fruition, guess who's going to be all in your inbox or hitting you up? Hey, oh, I'm so proud of you. We, uh, you know, are our own biggest critics. Our self-talk is horrible. Our self-talk is horrible. If you sit down for a day and listen to what you say to yourself, you be very astounded. You be aware. Just be aware of all the things that you say to yourself that could be bad. And just keep a record of it throughout the day. And see how much your bad talk and how much you're saying to yourself that's making you feel bad. You understand? So if you don't feel like you got the support that you need, if you don't, if you feel like you don't got the su the, su the the surrounding connection that you need, you are your own connection. You are a magnet. You can magnet anything to you, but at the same time, you could create anything that you want to as well. So just know that no matter who isn't supporting you, who isn't in your corner. 
whatever it is you're pursuing, whatever it is you're trying to bring, you know, uh, forth into this reality is your responsibility only. No one else's responsibility to see your vision and to bring it into fruition into this to this uh, this plane. You understand? It's up to you. No one else. They will once you bring it, once you keep working on it and you birth that dream into the, your reality. They will start believing then. But you can't lose sight of what you want to achieve. You understand? As long as you got you and God, listen, you good. You good. You understand? So I just wanted to say that positive message just to give it out to anyone else who may be going through a, a situation where y'all feel like, you know, y'all don't have support or y'all feel like, you know, you don't have the people in your corner that understand you or even just the simplest things. They just, just don't believe that you can do it. And you want to prove them wrong. The best way you can prove anybody wrong is by keep working on your dream and letting them see the results <laughs> at the end of the day. And then, you know, there's going to be haters. There's going to be people that's, that's not going, that's going to hate on you. But that's okay. Because if you don't got haters, then you ain't popping. <laughs> if you ain't got haters, then you not popping. You understand? So say hi, haters. And, you know, keep moving towards your green dream. Keep shining your light. Keep make paving your own way. You understand? Not sitting on your butt and thinking things is going to just drop into your lap because it's not. We have to put in the work in order for us to reap the rewards that we, which we desire. You understand? We have to make these things happen. You know? And it's okay. It's I've really learned to just... Anybody who doesn't support me or doesn't agree with anything I'm doing... I just let them go with love because at the end of the day, as long as I see my vision, as long as I see where I'm going, as long as I keep my dreams alive, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. What only matters is what I think, not what anyone else does. Because at the end of the day, if you keep living your life for what other people think, you'll never live it. You'll never live your life. So live your life. Worry about you. If they don't care or they don't um, support you, there will be people that will support you. There will be people that will bring that, that, that um, loneliness that you feel to an end. Just you have to work on you and continue believing in yourself. Believe in yourself. That's one thing that we all fall short of a lot too. And I'm I'm guilty because sometimes I fall off on believing in myself where I got to slap my own self and be like, I hey. Hey, Tabby, we don't do that. Sometimes if you ain't if you ain't got nobody, listen, you could look at yourself in the mirror and see and look at just really look at yourself. If your hair is matted or if it ain't matted, if it ain't looking right. And yet, listen, take care of yourself. Take care of you. Because at the end of the day, everybody else is going to be taking care of them. So you might as well do you. You understand? Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Don't worry about what anyone else is saying. Well, don't worry about what anyone else does it if they don't even support you. Just keep your dreams alive. Keep believing and reaching and connecting to that inner child that has that belief. I don't want to get preachy, but the Bible, there's one Bible verse that um, I really like because it's really about having faith. And yourself, I feel like having faith, but just I use it as a form of also belief in myself. And it's basically saying if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. That for me, I'm not really a religious person, but I do know the Bible, you know, some Bible verses. But that one has always stuck with me because it's so true. If you could believe in yourself, you will. You will move the mountains. You will create those things that y'all that, that will be on your wildest dreams. So keep your hope alive. Keep your dreams alive because you can bring them into this reality. You can bless people with your whatever it is that you plan to do. Um, you know, as far as create a business or even just you know maybe starting a channel or whatever, anything, whatever it is that you want to pursue. Just know that it's not out of reach. It's in your grasp. You can create anything which your heart desires with your thoughts and with your feelings, with laws of attraction. You can do this. 
So don't worry about anyone else and what they're doing. Just keep concentrating on you. Keep concentrating on your path. And you won't fall astray. All right? So I just wanted to say that, guys, because I know exactly what it's like to feel like people ain't supporting you and all this other stuff, especially when you know you're doing something positive. But you know what? Not everyone's going to support you because nine times out of ten, they might be hating. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay if people want to hate you. It's okay if people jealous. It's all right. Just know to give that, let that be your ammunition to keep going, to keep doing better. You understand? To keep being your best version. You understand? I hope this really helps you guys because I'm going through the same thing. I'm not only, I, I, I go through the, the, the ups and the downs, uh, the, the, the time frames where my mind will have this little, will try to do the self bad talk, but then I have to recognize it. Click that off and put it towards something positive. It's all about reprogramming your mind. You understand? Putting the things in your mind that you want by breaking down all those bad self-belief systems that you have built up in your mind. Breaking them all down and putting more positive things in your mind. You understand? So, guys, I love you. I just wanted to tell you that. Those who are supporting me, I love you. And, um... Just keep reaching for the stars. Keep knowing that your dreams can be your reality. Reality, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, <laughs> but you, you get it, you get it, you get it. Um, yeah, guys, so um, if you haven't, um, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. You know, I'm a little small, I'm a small channel, but I'm grow I'm trying to grow, you know what I'm saying? And if there's any, you know, advice from any other YouTubers out there that you guys um wanted to put down, drop a line, I'm all for it, guys. Um, any questions as well, you could drop that in the comment section. And yeah, please like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram. I just started a new Instagram as well, conscious at conscious. Conscious T Queen lowercase. Okay, guys, I love you. Have a marvelous day and Monday. <laughs> All right, guys, love you. Peace. <laughs>